I am with Lise from Vancouver Coastal Health on City Farmer TV and Lise, what are you going to tell us about? I want to tell you about preventing mosquito bites this summer. West Nile virus was 60 kilometers south of the border in October 2006. So we want people to get into the habit of preventing mosquito bites this summer. So when West Nile virus comes, we're going to reduce the risk of infection. In the garden, tell me what people should be thinking about in their gardens. What we want you to do is drain standing water and you can look at the picture here. If you have buckets of rainwater and tires or any other kind of container with water in it, we want you to empty that once a week. A couple of other things is when you're out there in the garden or out in the field or doing anything, we want you to um, wear protective clothing, long sleeves, long pants, light colored, and we want you to use mosquito repellents wisely. Right. And what about people finding crows and tell me about the birds and the relationship. Right. Okay. So what happens with West Nile virus is uh, the way people get it is that a crow or some kind of bird will come into our area that's infected with West Nile virus. The local mosquito will then bite the bird and then that same mosquito will go and bite a human and that's how we get West Nile virus. So we have a crow surveillance program where if someone finds a crow that is in good condition, we want them to phone our number 604-675-3800 here in Vancouver, and we'll come and pick up your dead crow and submit it to the lab for testing. Great, well, yeah. and this is very helpful, and anything else for gardeners you can think of a tip that they might wanna use, uh, I guess the standing water is the most important. Um, yeah, another little tip is that for your rainwater, it's absolutely great ecologically to store your rainwater, but put a really fine wire mesh screen over top of it. And then that way you'll prevent the mosquitoes from going in and laying their eggs. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you.